Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome. This is going to be your career and finance. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Be a timeless reading whenever you happen to see it. We're starting out. What do you need to know about your career or business? And we have the five of spring. This is Ram. So occasionally you may experience dashes, dashes, classes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. Yeah, so there's some kind of maybe there's something you could be clashing with one person you could be clashing with many people. This also could be Aries energy. So um yeah there's something going on where you could have a partner and you're not seeing eye to eye at this time. Let's clarify. Okay, why do we have the five of spring, which will be a five of wands? Could be arguments, could be competition too. You could have competition that you need to um be on, you know, what's going on with them. Let's see, why do we have the five of spring? We have the eight of wands. Well, I like this because this is um good news. This is um you might be traveling for business. There's gonna be speedy communication. So, um, looks like it's going to turn out in your favor. I love the Eight of Wands. It feels like things are happening. So you're going to be able to, maybe if there's some kind of, um, argument or something with someone, you're going to be able to diffuse it somehow. But there's going to be a back and forth, like maybe you're actually just going back and forth and trying to decide what to do if it's a partnership that you're working on here. But things are moving forward. I like that. Okay. Now, what can you do to move forward? Okay. Let's see. What can you do to move forward? So this is also action and wands are um like good good cards for business to come up. Uh, what can you do to move forward? Let's see. We have Prince of Spring. Okay, so this is passionate, charismatic, confident, restless dolphin. An opportunity arises that needs your attention. Um right away. Moving quickly is important. Yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. So this would be um the I guess this would be Knight of Um Wands, which would be Aries Leo Sagittarius. So you could be working with someone that is a fire sign. But there's gonna be an opportunity coming in here. And you're gonna have to um be quick to take this opportunity. So when this when this comes in, you have to move quickly on it, is what it's saying here. Okay. Why do we have the Prince of Spring here? Oops. Ooh, the Ten of Coins. How nice. Okay. So if you move on this quickly, this is... um. Going to bring in abundance, bring in um, financial security. This opportunity that's coming in might even bring in a early retirement or, um, wow. It's, it's, yeah, this like is something to do with long term investments, maybe. So it looks like whoever's coming in here, whatever opportunity is coming in here, you need to, um, jump on it. Okay. How can you be more financially successful? Let's see here. We have the Princess of Winter, which would be swords, air signs here. Okay, so that would be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, so your sign. Logical, trustful, curious, undiplomatic, seagull. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution it's helpful information is put to you bluntly accept the message without being bothered by the messenger so someone might say something to you it might be a little harsh but don't pay attention to where it's come from or how they say it pay attention to, to the message you're getting because it might be a message that's coming to you from spirit but through this person so you gotta be logical Okay, let's see here. Why do we have the Princess of Winter here? 
which would be a page, I guess. Messages. Um, that would also be someone. Um, yeah, messages coming in. I'm not gonna say anything more like that. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Hmm. So this is like there's some kind of like conflict w within the workplace. This would be like um poor leadership. Someone being a bully. There might be conflict in them. This feels like this really tough place to work. So maybe, know, maybe you might be getting out, some, buying out something to work someplace better. Yeah, I feel like this, this is very like cutthroat. Wow. <laughs> Let me see. We have the Emperor at the bottom here. I, I don't know why I want to flip this over. Aries energy. Maybe just taking your power back and standing up for these people. There's going to be a message in here somewhere for you. Okay. Where or what do you need to... Where or what do you need to prove here? Let's see. Where or what do you need to prove? Whoa. That went flying. Nine is spring. So this would be a nine of wands. Okay. So we have your work... You work hard, and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry. You'll get through them just as you have in the past. It seems like there's a lot of conflict in your workplace is what I'm getting. But you're capable of making money. It feels like you stand up above the rest here and that you have to protect what you already put in, what you invested in this situation. So let's clarify this. And this is a gazelle here. Okay, now... Why do we have the Nine of Springs here? You need to protect yourself. These people are bad. And we have the Hermit. Well, so this is um, this is staying to yourself, not not getting involved with these other people's dramas, and um, time management, doing the research you need to do, search out things. You might be, be better off looking for a better job here, I think, because it seems pretty bad. It almost feels like you're you're achieving a lot and people are jealous of what you're doing here. That's what I get, that you're doing an awful lot here that they can, they're they not capable of doing. And they don't want to either. I don't think they have the drive to do what you're doing. Okay. Now, what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? <laughs> I think this workplace. Okay. What or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? And we have the King of Summer. So this would be cups, um, water. Okay, so this would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Did I say this is Virgo? This is Virgo here. Okay, so we have um, Penguin, a trustworthy person or relation enter your life. You may receive wise and compassion advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. Well, that's crazy, you know? It's like, why would you need to overcome that? Okay, let's clarify. Why did we get the King of Summer here? Why is the King of Summer here, please? Page of Swords. All right. So, with the Page of Swords, this, this is someone that's detail-oriented. Expert opinions. Really checking into things. This is very confusing. We have the page of swords here. So. This is learning something new. King of Summer is the King of Cups. I think there's someone in here that maybe it's not so much of an obstacle. It's someone that wants to help you. Someone that cares about you. Unless, for some of you, this person is interested and you're not interested in them. And that is an obstacle. But it does say a trustworthy person here. Okay, I would say that you're doing research and there's some, someone coming in here to help you. Hey, almost like you don't expect this from this person. Okay, let's go to the next one. What is coming in in their near future? The 
the emperor. Okay. This is Deer Mouse. Is structure and organization important right now? Don't be afraid to take a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. Oh, maybe that's the whole thing. You are you are really standing out from the rest. That's why people are getting kind of jealous. And maybe, you know, that they this person maybe want to, wants to help you. And that is an obstacle because they want to maybe push you into this leadership role. And you're not sure you want to take it because you don't want to take on these people. But they, they appreciate you. They know that you're working and your ethics are really right on top there. So this could also be an Aries here with the Emperor energy. Let's clarify this. This is what's coming in the near future. Okay. Either you're stepping up to be in the leader or you have an Aries or a leader uh, or a boss coming in that might be new. Let's see, we have the devil. Well, that's interesting. Hmm, temptation. This is also saying this is very toxic workplace here. That someone abandoned their principles. So now this is changing this emperor energy here. This is changing this emperor from being someone that is um, more of a toxic energy. So if that's the case, if you have someone coming in that's new into your workplace, and it even makes things worse than before, because now you have this Capricorn energy with the devil, this could be, this throws a whole monkey wrench in here. Because instead of you coming into your power, this is saying that this is someone that is is uh, not good, you know. They don't, um, they would be a poor leader, a bad leader. Okay, it might be different for different people. Maybe you have to overcome this energy that's coming in and pushes you into a leader position. Or this is saying you're dealing with this. You're dealing with this emperor that comes in that is not good. You probably fit right in in this situation, this workplace, but you don't. <laughs> what or whom is helping you? Let's see. What or whom is helping you? Princess of Spring. Got a lot of wands here. It's very career-oriented here. Okay, energetic, outgoing, optimistic, creative. Monarch butterfly. Created opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth and broaden horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. I think you're getting pushed out of this can, this place, this business, into something else. So I think there's something going to happen here. You're going to get information about a new job with the Princess of Spring. So something's going to come. There's going to be an offer here. There's going to be opportunities. And that's going to help you move on from this situation. Either you're going to have to take control of the situation and be the leader, or you're going to have to get out. That's what I'm getting here from this. Okay, what or whom is it helping you? Of course, it's going to be different for different people. We have the hanging man. Hmm. There's something that's temporarily on hold, but by being on hold, you're seeing things different. There's a whole new perception here. It's almost like you're you're just hanging in the balance here. You don't know what to do at this um, time, but Pisces energy here and the Princess of Spring that would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, along along with these this here. Yeah, so I you know it seems like you're probably buying your time. And you are going to get some offers here that's going to help you move on from the situation. Either there's, either you have to take charge and be the leader in this situation or you have to move on. Now, it's going to be different for different people. Some people are able to take charge. But, hey, if the owner of the company is the one in charge, well, then you can take charge, you know. Um, let's see. Your potential outcome. What is your potential outcome? We have Awakening. Wow. So with the Awakening card, this is the Hangman again in the different, um, in the different deck. So we have Giraffe. Look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted. Temporary things, things will soon start moving again. So this is, yeah, so there is going to be something that stops. Or there's a there's a reason for it though. Let's go um, Pisces energy again, the awakening. Where did I get the hangman twice here? Okay. Let's see, let's clarify this awakening. And the ten of cups. Well, that's beautiful. Okay. So this could be, you know, destined security here. This could be um 
a family business or a happy home life, um, things are going to work out. Whatever this is coming in here is going to work out for the best for you. If this is, you might even start your own home business. And then we have the nine, and it's going to bring in the nine cups. So everything's going to work in your favor. It's a tough situation right now. Oh, we have the magician at the bottom of this deck. Unicorn. There's a magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. That's Aquarius Aries energy. Yes, yeah, so it looks like things are going to, okay, it's a real rough time right now. There's a lot of arguing and deceit and cheating and, and all kinds of stuff going on is what I'm getting here. But it's going to change. And for some of you, you're going to have to be in charge. And for others, you have to leave to find something better. So, of course, that's not going to resonate for everyone. Okay, let's see what signs we're dealing with. What signs do we have here for Aquarius? What are the signs? Aries. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Scorpio. Gemini. Virgo. Scorpio again, and Capricorn. So these could placement your charts could be placement of other people that you're dealing with in this business atmosphere here. Uh, so we have Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, and Capricorn. And this could be past, present, and future people. Okay, so now for initials of people that you might be dealing with here. Let's see. What are the initials? First, middle, or last name? We have W, R, F D M V Oop, two came out. Z R M A and N. Okay, so the initials for today for you guys are W R F D M V Z R M A N. We got a man here. <laughs> okay, now let's see. Let's see if you get any names here. What names can you be dealing with during this? What are the names? Eleven names, please. Let's see what we got here. We have Chatel, Chantel, Chatel, S H A T E L. We have Rosemary. We have I V A I V I. Um, we have here Sonit, Sonita. I don't know how to. I'm sorry. S U N I T H A. We have Neil Chauncey. Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-S-A. -S -S we have Akil, A-K-I-L. We have Sherry. And we have Rose. And we need one more. So these could be people you're working with or going to work with. And we have Lisa, L-I-Z-A. Okay, those are the names. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Leave what doesn't. This is a general reading, not a personal reading. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave me comments. I'd love to read your comments. And I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And um, hit the bell if you want to get notified every time there's new videos for, for you to view. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.